Microsoft Edge now has AI integrated directly into it, and it's a game changer. You can ask questions about the website that you're currently on. You can have it compose messages on your behalf. You can even have it upscale video or improve the quality of the video that you're watching. And these are just a few of the AI features. On the other hand, Google Chrome, the most popular browser, doesn't yet have any AI features built into it. Let's check out how you can use these AI features right now. If you don't yet have Microsoft Edge, you could click on the card right up above or click on the link down below in the description. On this website, you can install on just about any platform. You have Windows, Mac, your mobile device, and down below, you can even install on Linux. Here I am in Edge, and I have a website open with information about the cookie market. Up in the top right-hand corner, you might notice that there's a new icon, and this is the Bing logo, and it's called the Discover Pane. When I click on this, this opens up all of the different AI capabilities that I have access to. And right up here at the top, there are three different modes. You have chat mode, compose, and also insights. And we're going to start with chat mode. Here, if I scroll up just a little bit, you'll see that there are three different settings. You can jump into creative, here's balanced, and then also precise. And when you hover over, you'll see what the differences are. So you can explore those different settings. For now, I just want to stick with balanced. As we look down here in the pane, one of the really neat things is the AI has awareness of the website that I'm currently on. Here, it gave me a summary of all of this information on this website. So this is the cookie industry and market. And here it gives me the key takeaways from this website. So that's really nice. But it's still a little bit dense for me. Down here at the very bottom, it says, ask me anything. So I could ask any question at all, or I could ask questions specific to this website. So let me type in, summarize this page like I'm a five-year-old. And then here, I'll click on this icon. And just like that, it now generated a summary of the page in text that a five-year-old could understand. It looks like people want healthier cookies that use better ingredients. People all over the world like cookies. Well, of course, they taste good. And people want to make cookies at home. So here it gives me some of the key takeaways from all of this text in this research report. So that's pretty nice. But I want to ask some more questions about this article. So maybe let's find out who is the largest company in this market. And let's see what it says. This now spits out a response. And to be honest, I'm a little disappointed because it doesn't say the Kevin Cookie Company. Here it says that it's Mandela's International. Now, one of the neat things is it pulled information on the largest cookie company based on multiple different sources. So here we could see a citation to number one, or this is from Fox Business. Then here it pulled some information from Statista, and then lastly from this article or MordorIntelligence.com. So here I got information from three different sources, and here I could click into any one of these sources to read more information. Back over on the left-hand side on the website, as I was looking through this, I actually had a specific question on it. So if I go here all the way up near the top, it says that the global cookies market is expected to register a CAGR of 5.43%. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Here, I can highlight this text. I'll highlight this line, and over on the right-hand side, the AI detects that I've highlighted some text. And here it asks me if I want to send it to the chat. Here, let's click on Send. And here it now asks me what I want to do with this text. And I have a few different options. I can get it to explain, revise, or expand. Let's have it explain it to me. And right up above here, it tells me what CAGR means. It stands for the compound annual growth rate. Okay, so that makes more sense. And here it also tells me the reasons behind that growth. So it's really neat how you could just converse back and forth with the AI to make sense of an article that you happen to be reading. Chatting with the AI is a lot of fun, but maybe I just want to see some insights from the AI without actually coming up with the questions. Over on the right-hand side, let's click into the tab titled Insights. And right here, I see a question and answer section. So here they have some interesting questions and they answer it based on information from this article. Down below here, I see the key points that we saw earlier. Here I see various page topics that are highlighted. And then I also see some related websites. So I get all of this information compiled within this insights view. Although we've been looking at a website so far, all of these same capabilities also work if you happen to open a PDF directly in Microsoft Edge. 
Now, I need to jump over to my email because I need to respond to a question from my manager. Here I am in my email, and I just have one email from my manager, Patty Fernandez. I love her, but sometimes she makes really unreasonable requests. Here she wants to know if I can work this weekend, and of course I don't want to work on the weekend. So let's see if AI can help me with this. Up in the top right hand corner, let's click on the Bing logo once again. And over here, there is the option for Compose. Let's click on that, and here I need to specify what I want the AI to write about. So let me type in some text. My boss wants me to work on the weekend, but I don't want to. Write a response to my boss that is funny and makes her understand why I can't make it. Right down below, I can also select the tone of the message that I want the AI to write. And I have a few different options. I will select funny. Right down here, I can also select the format. And here too, I also have options. I will select an email. And right here for the length, also a few different options. I'll go with short. And right here, let's click on generate draft. And just like that, it came up with a preview of the message that I could send her. So here it says, I'm sorry to hear that you need me to work on this weekend. Unfortunately, I have a very good reason why I can't make it. You see, I have a rare condition called weekenditis. It's a serious ailment that affects millions of people. This sounds like a really quality response. And it seems like this type of message deserves a response like this. Right here, I'll click on reply. And at the very bottom, I can click on this text to add it to the site. And this automatically inserts it into my email. Now, of course, I'll have to make a few touch-ups like insert my boss's name and insert my name down below. But overall, this message looks really solid. Along with generating new text, you can also use AI in Edge to evaluate existing text. So here I need to write a LinkedIn post letting people know that they can now order cookies at the Kevin Cookie Company. And here I see this red squiggly line that tells me that I misspelled cookies. I could simply click on that and here I'll select the correct spelling. And next I want to let people know that, that you can now order cookies and there it offers to auto complete if I press the tab key. And I'll say add hour and here it detects that I likely want to say website. So I'll press tab and then period. And let's say enjoy the most delicious cookies in the world. And just like that, look how quickly I wrote that sentence. With AI, it predicts what I'm going to write next. And by pressing the tab key, I can auto complete the sentence. And this is all using Microsoft Editor integrated directly into Edge. So far, we've looked at all AI functionality that's available now. But Microsoft also has many different AI features in the pipeline. To see what those look like, we can download the Microsoft Edge Canary build. It's basically a preview of what's coming up. To download the Canary build, head to the following website. You could click on the card up above or also down below in the description. And on this website, click on the download button. Here I am now in the Edge Canary build. And right up above, I'm going to type in edge colon forward slash forward slash flags and then hit enter. And here you can see all of the different experiments available within the Canary build. Now, one of the ones that uses AI in a very impressive way is called Microsoft Video Super Resolution right here. And if you want to test this out, you could click on this dropdown and then select Enabled. To be able to use this, you'll need a very capable graphics card. Here I am now on YouTube and I'm watching a video by one of my favorite creators, Kevin Stratford. And as you can tell, this video is pretty pixelated. If I click on the settings gear down below, you can see that the quality is currently 144p. So it's pretty bad. But one of the neat things is Edge uses AI to automatically improve the video quality. Here I can click on this HD icon and we can enhance the video. And look at how much sharper it now appears. Here I can toggle back and forth and you see that it gets rid of a lot of the pixelation. Here it's a pretty bad image and when I turn this on, it improves the quality quite a bit. Now it's still not perfect, but it's a big step up. Keep in mind that there's not that much initial resolution to work with, and this is resulting in a much better picture. Now, as this improves, you can imagine the day when maybe you have a 1080p picture and it upscales it to say 4K. We've looked at all of the AI functionality that's available directly within Edge. You can also get to this same AI functionality directly through the Bing homepage. Up on top, simply click on the chat tab, and this exposes that same interface directly on Bing. What's neat about Bing is you can also generate images based on text. Simply go to the card right up above or the link down below in the description. 
Here, for example, I can now type in some text. Let's say maybe a cookie floating in space with Earth in the background. Why not? Let's give that a try. One of the interesting things here is it's leveraging OpenAI's Dolly 2 text to image generator, which is a very high quality image generator. Over here on the right hand side, I'll click on create. And just like that, right down below here, I could see a cookie floating in space with Earth in the background. That's pretty impressive. And I think we could probably use one of these for our next marketing campaign. You've got to hand it to Microsoft. They are moving so fast with all of this AI work. And surprisingly, something I never expected, Microsoft Edge might be a web browser that you might now actually want. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.